nowadays. While human beings are progressing in the field of technology, incredible new machines such as computers have entered our lives and will stay there forever. Many of us human beings are retrogressing spiritually. We have lost our ability to love. We have become the batterers of children and the torturers of women. Our people were bitterly against this in old Africa. In African tradition, a man was not allowed to crush and dominate the woman. Never. In African tradition, a man was not allowed to act unilaterally in the family. Everything he did, he had to do after having obtained his wife's fullest blessing and permission. According to the culture of all our people, the woman was regarded as spiritually greater than the man. Even the most autocratic of African kings used to consult their people on a major subject. When a king wanted to go out and make war against such and such a tribe, he didn't just assemble the warriors and lead them off into battle. No, not at all. He had to obtain the approval of the women folk of the tribe and these women had the right to say no. Our people believed that before you leave your village with your spear in hand, O oh man, you must first consult your wife. An African marriage was not a, a, a union where the man was superior and where the woman was inferior. No. Let me tell you that in African tradition, you were not allowed to make love to your wife until you had made her ready for an hour. And before that, she had to give her consent. You were not allowed to impregnate your wife unless she was willing to receive your seed. You were not allowed to punish a child without having first talked with your wife. And the woman had the power to oppose you. An African traditional marriage was an equal partnership between the cattle keeping male and the grain planting female. The woman needed the milk that the men's cows would give for her children. And the men needed the grain that the woman would plant. Sometimes the man was gone for several years. And when he did return, if he returned, he knew that his family was intact. And it was not force or intimidation that kept the woman in her home. It was her love for the man who was away. Also, it was the woman who discovered, sometimes at great cost in lives, which plants in the bush were edible and which were not, extending over many centuries. Our women learned which plants were dangerous to human life, which were beneficial, which could be used as medicines and which could be used as food. 
So the women and the men's respect in Africa for these and many other reasons. This is one of two places which our people believe all life, all living things emerged from. Our people of all nations have known this place as the womb of the earth or the vagina of the earth. In Africa, the woman was honored and respected. In Africa, the woman was actually worshipped. In Africa, the woman was actually honored by people of all tribes and nations. To this day, when we pray to our ancestors, we always solicit most of all the blessings of our female ancestors. You must understand who you really are. You must understand how great you are. You must understand how great you once were.